Masters and I are both thinking it over. Meeting with other people this week? Yeah. What is this, 20 questions? No, I'm just concerned about you, that's all. Well, babe, you don't have to be concerned, I'm fine. Oh, well, you're fine. I'm fine. Everybody, in fact, everything is Jim Dandy, A1. Okay, fine. I'm fine. But what about you? Huh? What's going on? What's wrong with you? Pammy, come on. Out with it. Well, I thought I've been so awful to Bobby for months now. I don't think he can take much more of it. Well, why? What did he do? Nothing. That's what's so terrible. Up until now, he, he's been wonderful. Understanding. He doesn't deserve the way I've been treating him. I can't seem to help myself. Sometimes, I almost think that I'm going crazy. I don't know why I act the way I do. It's as if I want to drive him away, as if I want him to leave me. Then maybe he'd find somebody and he could lead the kind of life he wants with children. Pam, if that's so important, then you have to take the risk. You go ahead, you get pregnant. Only I have symptoms, and if I've got a 50% chance of passing it on, any child you have probably would not be affected. I can't. I'm too afraid. And I feel so guilty of depriving Bobby of children. I feel so inadequate that every time he tries to touch me, I turn ice cold. I can't help it. You have to stop worrying about it. You have to stop thinking about it. Cliff, Bobby's going to leave me. I know he is. And I love him so much. I've forgotten about? No. I just want to talk to you. About what? I'd like to know if you want Bobby. Because if you don't, I do. What do you think you're doing here? Trying to save your marriage, it seems. Which just goes to show I must be certifiable. I don't want to talk to you about this, Jenna. I'd like you to leave. I will. Just as soon as I've said everything I came to say. I want you to get out now. Aren't you interested in keeping your husband? We're not schoolgirls, Pam. We both know that men like Bobby don't grow on trees. I don't have to listen to you lecture me on the virtues of my husband. Well, you better listen to someone if you want him. I love Bobby. I always have. I may have had a strange way of showing it at times, but when I let him go, I was 20. That was my excuse for being a fool. What's yours? Oh, has Bobby been crying on your shoulder, Jenna? Complaining about the wife that doesn't understand him? You know him better than that. He hasn't said a word about you. Then what makes you so sure I'm going to lose him? He's miserable, Pam. Anyone can see that. And I know him better than most. He's loving, understanding, and kind. But ultimately, he's a survivor. And if you won't make him happy, he'll find someone who will. That's someone being you. Yes, if I have anything to say about it. Look, Pam, Bobby loves you a lot, so I'm trying to play fair. But if you can't make him happy, I'll cut you out just as fast as I can. <laughs> <laughs> 